Hello YouTube audience. Today I would like to make two forest groups. Uh, with one, uh, this is the Norfolk Island pine, and this is a jade tree. They all, they all come in a pot and with multiple trees. So I would like to make them into a forest group. Um, but I don't think I have the right size pot for um, each of them. This pot is too big for both uh, plants to, uh, to sit in by themselves as a forest. Uh, so what I'm going to do is te temporarily put them into uh, the same pot in each side of the pot. It's not something that uh, I do intentionally for novelty, but it's uh, simply because I don't have the right size pot. Um, so first I put a piece of cardboard in the middle of my pot and um, so that I can uh, separate the, the two different plants uh, because I use different soil for them so I don't want the soil to move uh, once the roots get established I can move the plants out and then I find a uh, proper size pot I can put them in there so first I would need to put some wire through the bottom of the, um, the pot. Say hi to all. Okay. Um, so using these wires. There are these holes, these small holes in the bottom of the pots. That's for the wires. Uh, the wires are for stabilizing the tree before the roots get established. You simply tie the, tie the tree in there so that they will not fall out. So, one cutter. Just put them through the bottom of the the pot. Just put them through. I'm just going to make use of almost all the, there are plenty of holes for the wires. I'm going to make use of most of them. So one cutter. Holes in there.
not to save some wire, I would just use this wire for it. Uh, no. I think this maybe give you a better chance of trying the true stone. Okay. So we've got three wires in. Three more. actually use plenty of wires. I may just use the whole wire. All of the wire. Okay. Kitties like the wires. Just don't want the wires to stick into your eyes, so don't play with the wires. Wires. Okay. Two more. Two more. Mm. We don't have much wires left, so I will just cut this into two and see do we have enough wire. Maybe. Just enough wire. Naya, yeah, don't play with the wire. Okay. okay. Okay, just enough wire. Now, the next step would be to take the trees out. Since Uo already helped me take one of the trees out, the pot, I will just work on this one first. I haven't watered the tree for a while, just so that the, the roots are a little bit loose. 
um, so that it may be easier to take out of the pots. It's indeed very easy. It basically fell out of the pot. Okay, I will use one of the root rakes to rake it out. Let's see how many trees are in there. So, this this is probably the main tree, but this branch is too top heavy, so I'm probably going to cut it off somewhere. Maybe here. This would be a new tree. Maybe two. This soil are pretty loose, but it may it may hold the water too good for the cactus, for the succulent. So I'm going to change the soil. So I see this is actually a cutting from a giant tree. So it's maybe difficult to see, but this is a big branch. They just cut a big branch out of a giant tree and stuck it into the soil. And then they grow all these little things. But you can actually still see the original branch where they cut it
So all these small things, they all come from a same same branch because they are under the soil, so they start to develop their own roots. I think they are ready to be separated into different trees for now. So I'm just going to do that. I would cut here. Let's see. Let me get rid of the soil a little bit more. Wow. This is a nice branch. So I'm first going to cut here. So we have plenty of roots from this branch. That would be a single tree. of roots here so I think I'm going to cut this to make this a single tree here we have some roots here it's probably okay to make into a single tree um, we don't need this part And then this two would make a nice tree. Okay. <laughs> it almost looked like gingers. Now this one without any roots I I'm not exactly sure if this would grow but I can um, I could save it in its original pot and just expose the top here and see if it would grow maybe and maybe not let's see just going to put it back into its original pot and see what happened to this. It's a lot of root, but there's no leaf on it, so not sure if it would grow or not, but we can take a try. Put this big roots back and put all the soil back and see what would happen. If in the future there are leaves come out, maybe it's going to become a major tree.
Okay, I didn't waste any soil. Soil is loose and nice. Okay, then we will just see what's going to happen. Uh, we could save this one and see what happened. Just put it in there. I don't know if this would grow, but let's see. Okay, so this is a big part of the... And there is this mess here. Okay, so we have several of these trees. Um, these may grow as cuttings, so I'm going to separate them. To also separate this one because there are three branches come out of one place these are extremely easy to cut so i'm pretty happy with this um yeah uh let's see they are a bit top heavy let's see but it's okay, okay for now. Um, I think I will separate them into even smaller trees so they are not so top heavy. Maybe cut this so that you have a single tree that looks like that and an even smaller tree that looks like that. Okay. I think I don't need this one or maybe I can cut this here so make this a single tree and these two single trees get rid of these little branches trees several more trees out of this thing okay the kittens are playing very hard here hopefully it's not going to affect my recording okay so what happens to this I may make this a single tree and this too a single tree okay just get rid of some of these tiny leaves Let's see if it would grow from here like this okay I have plenty oh okay I can get get rid of this one too don't need the they are small trees, don't need that many branches. Okay, I get um, several more trees here. So, now I can start arranging these. How many trees I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten trees 
it, <laughs> um, wow, this is uh, a very good deal, apparently. Okay, I don't need this tiny one coming out here. Just cut it flush. Okay. Okay, now. So this is the biggest tree. And which would be the main tree? Um, I'm going to place this as the front. Um, there are roots coming out from here, so I may just cut it to more flush so that it's, uh, it may be able to stand better like this. Okay, it's very top heavy, not much roots down there at all, so it's uh it's going to take some wire to tie it together okay now i can move these aside and start trying to put it in the soil so first thing i start to regret that maybe this could take a whole thing um Hmm. With 10 trees though, it can in fact take the whole whole tray. So I'm going to take the whole tray, I think. Just be a little bit flexible. Okay. Bonsai Jack and it's a uh, uh, succulent soil gritty mix so I think it's going to be very good for the, these plants so I'm going to put some of the soil in there first trees this is probably sufficient for the whole tray so I changed my mind I'm not going to put two different type of plants in one in one um, in one tray I may do a video next week to put the other plant in um so maybe this would work this would work as a front i'm just going to try to tie it and see if i can make it stand um let me see how should i do this one of the major trunk and if I do this the major stem oh ah. it's not easy these things are not easy to stand up I may just tie it 
deeper for right now. Grow it deeper. Uh, well, let's see. I should. What I should do, I think, is to first put it in roughly the right position, and then fill it with soil, and in the end tie it. I think this is about the right position, so maybe I need more soil. I need maybe almost fill the tray with soil. lots of soil but let's hope this would work even more because this is basically planting a bunch of puppies so I'm not going to be afraid of putting the thing in they are all basically cuttings now so just going to not worry too much okay I think this is the front for this tree the I because I'm hiding all these cuts big cuts so I use the back the side that's away from the should do it's falling in front so I should hold it back like that try to hold it back and um, tie with this one so that it's not going to fall. Oh, it's still falling back. So, okay, this may not fall anymore. So, looks like this. When its roots get established, I'm probably still fine tuned the position. So, it's going to be fine. So these two trees, or we could view it as one tree, but it looks pretty nice to be, to like this. So we can say this is one tree. This is, um, A second major trees um, just trying to push it push it around and see where is a good place for the, the tree okay I'm just going to decide to put it about here around here so trying to dig the hole and put it in
Oh, this one almost just stand by itself. So I only need to just wrap around it. Slightly, I think this would be fine. This tree is a little bit under the shade of that tree. Maybe I move it out a little bit. Like this. I don't need this one. still a little bit leaves that's too big I don't need so that if you get rid of these then it would be a little bit better okay so I have the third tree that has actually has roots have put this tree a little bit in front so that I have some, some more rooms in the back and put these smaller trees let's see I should just do that ah just tie this in and now I need to release it <laughs> okay which is completely fine just release this tree and put it in the front a little bit near the front a little bit like this and it's going to fall over this way so I'm going to tie it back again it from falling over until it grow sufficient root to stand up by itself. Now this is the front. Um, ah, that one toppled over already. <laughs> okay, this one fall over. It's not going to be absolutely easy to keep all these standing because they don't have much roots and. They are relatively tall trees compared to their roots. So it's not going to be very easy. I may need to get rid of a lot of the leaves so that it's not that easy for them to fall over. But 
at least temporarily, they are standing. Okay. Standing like this. Okay, then I can put this to the side. It's, it doesn't need to be very tall, so I'm going to turn this main thing off so that it doesn't have to be that tall. It's a little bit too tall. I think like that would be good. I believe. So now, just need to dig a hole here. And put it in. like this right now this is the front okay I think we can do this instead this this would fan out a little bit better so I select the wrong front now I just need to stand the thing in a little better okay ah so it would look like that from the front like that okay there are several more trees so I planted the three main trees that uh, has roots on it so now we have a lot of these little cuttings that we need to plant. Um, so we need to get all the cutting out and see which one is the best one and plant the best one first. So this is pretty nice. It looks really nice. Uh, some leaves are too big, we don't need. These are too big, we don't need. Uh, this is crossing leaf, we don't need it. Okay, cut this one off. Maybe cut the whole thing off, we don't need that crossing leaf. Okay, this one have some very nice movement in there so i'm just going to showcase the movement like this um, maybe here nice movement i'm going to put it in front well now we may not be able to showcase it too much because it doesn't have roots we probably need to wait until it grows roots ah it's just going to topple over um so 
to make it less heavy, I'm going to remove most of the leaves of this cutting. So that doesn't topple over that much. Also going to tie so that it doesn't fall over. So it looks like this now. I'm just going to continue to put those uh, ones in. This look good. I'm going to cut it the way I want it to sit in the soil, like that. And just stuck it in the soil and see if it grows. If it dies, it's fine. It's completely fine if some of these die because there are so many of them. Ah, this is not going to stand by itself. So I would need to tie this one in. Okay, it's still there. Now I should put some near the back to give it a perspective. Okay, you see the front has plenty of trees there. We still need some near the back. Um, we still have four plants. Um, which is plenty. Still plenty of plants. Um, we don't need those that are too big. I'm just removing some of the big leaves so that it's not too top heavy. Maybe it would be less likely to fall over. This one is going to fall over.
trying to hold this straight. Don't want it to fall over. Okay. Okay, three more, three more, I can just put it on the side. Still, some of them are too top heavy. That's why it's keep falling over. So we don't need that much leaves. So I can remove some of it. Now I can stop the things in. Okay, now we just need to put two more in, then we are done. Then we, we will need to arrange them too, arrange them. Uh, again, too many leaves, we don't need it. The leaves are too long compared to the, the plant. I'm trying to remove some of them. plant is quite small so don't need them that much leaves um, let me look at it from the front again and see what else is needed Okay, this side is still still a little bit empty. So I'm going to put some on this side. Maybe put one on this side. Okay. Um, This side is actually a little bit congested. Maybe I should move it this way so that it's not that congested. Move it out a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I think there's one more. Where should it be? Okay, I think one more in the back would be fine. Just removing a lot of the leaves. That's too big. One more in the back would be okay. Maybe here. Just give it a little perspective. Okay, a tiny plant near the back. Um, it's from the back, it's a little bit random. Let's look at it from the front and see what happens there. Oops, one fall out. I think it was 
where did it fall out from? This is the front. If we look at it in perspective like this. Normally a bonsai is a little bit taller than it is wide, so that's why I use the standing mode of my cell phone. But this time I should have used the side view like this. <laughs> Let's see what would happen when uh, I up upload this video to YouTube. Um, because this time it is a it is wider than it is tall. Okay, I think this one fall out from somewhere here. I just need to put it back. Okay, now I just need to tie all the trees so that it's relatively stable and then um, make them stand up right and then I will be fine. So first, the main tree is very, very dangerous. It's going to fall over any time. So I just need to tie this in better. Um, I can even use a plier that I bought. Choir. Let's see if I twist and turn it several times, it should stand up better. Let's see if that's true. It's just not standing very well. Okay, now it's standing up much better, I think. Okay. Maybe I can turn it several more turns so it stands a little bit better. I think this is good enough. Ha, huh, a plier works pretty well. So if we come back to the front, it's pretty stable now. So this main tree is standing up. So that's a relief. Now, I need to stand up this tree, this second tree. I need to stand this up. How am I going to do that?
so it could fall on both side so what I need to do is to tie it from the front and from the back so that it cannot fall on either side okay I think I would need to take this one out kind of hook this maybe hook this with this tree oh that's fine hook this one with this tree Some of these are not long enough, so I'm just going to hook this two ones. It's not easy. These are not very long, not really long enough. Let's see. Let me think about it. How do I tie this two together? I'm currently using this one to wrap this one so that if I don't wrap this one, it's going to be long enough to hook that main tree. So I can put this back later. Okay. I'm going to do that. Just trying to wrap this main tree a little bit. Not going to wrap it too tight. But I'm going to use this two to stand them. To stand this two up. Okay, I should be able to stand this tree. It's a little bit ugly, but I'm going to take this wire off once this tree can stand by themselves. Okay, then I would need to... I don't think this tree is going to easily fall fall in this pond. So I think one wire may be enough. One wire may be enough. Now I just need to 
type this one back. To where it was, um, it's probably like something like this, and uh, this one is tight. This one can stand. Now I just need to use this one to type that one in. Problem with tying several trees with one wire if you, is you, if you move one wire, you move the whole tree. both tree if you move the wire One wire for two trees, that's enough. So I'm just going to bury the tip of this wire into the soil. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of trees. Okay. Two trees here. Okay, now I just need to stand all these up. I just wire around the trunk twice. And just put them into the soil. That should be fine. bit deeper into the soil I think because they are cuttings okay cuttings need a little bit more protections um, Where 
was this come from? Ah, these two move really, let's move away from each other. I would need something like that. I think I would need something like that. This is the front. Yes, I would need something like that. So I need to type this side too. very very loosely need to stand these ones with anything I think I will need to stand this one this one is standing this one is not standing um, I think I can stand this one here To the soil and also bury this this thing in the soil um, and I need to stand this one up I just need this to stand in the soil, that's all. Okay, so this one is still falling ahead, so I probably still need to get it up a little bit. If I 
come back to the front and take a look. This is the front. But it's not standing very well. Okay. I hope it will stand. to get another thing to kind of wrap around the second trunk so that the tree can stand while there's not much roots in there. Don't need to wire it but you need to help it to stand so the wire is not really for changing the shape of the tree but for helping it to stand. Just try to hide the wire. Okay, this way, this tree should be able to stand. Should be able to stand up right. Okay, there are just several more. Not many left. Okay, this one was already falling over. Um, first just need to this one is not standing very well so I need to tie it first so that it's going to stand and then bury it with the soil trees are in position so I'm not trimming the wire I may be able to reuse this wire the next time I repart it um, so that I'm just hiding them in front. Um, all trees looks like they are going to stand now, which is great. What I would like to do now is to add more soil to the whole plant. So that um, I 
you look filled. I think I still need to let the soil settle in a little bit. With the chopsticks. the side cover all this I just move all this the soil I'm not going to sit And I'm just going to use the chopsticks to poke around and make sure the soil settle into the roots because it may be a problem for these trees that has some roots um, may not settle easily that's why the tree can still move But for the trees that doesn't have much root, root, roots, that it should be fine. So this, this three trees, this one, this one, and this one has roots. So I would need to poke around the roots and make sure the soil settle in. And this one, we, I can still see some roots um, poke, poking out of the some roots poking out so I'm still going to add a little bit more soil into it so here, I can still see some roots coming out. So add a little bit more roots in. And hopefully, a forest plant can really use a lot of soil. Because um, it's a large surface area. <laughs> to cover although the pot is not very deep but it normally use a lot of soil just poke around this tree so that the soil settle in
for the cuttings, we don't really need to poke around it because there's no roots, it's just soil. It's going to. The other way to do this is to give it a little bit, um, just a little bit vibration so that the soil can settle in. going to work okay that's a lot of soil but I think this is going to work let's see this is the forest planting currently Let's see if I can get rid of all the things in the background. Um, also, I need to get rid of this. We have a better look on it. So, this is the forest planting right now. Um, a lot of the leaves are still too dense, so I may need to get rid of a lot of leaves later. Um, but right now, I can give it a mist, and then uh, later I'm going to water it thoroughly. So that I can get the get the soil to settle down a little bit, and then I'm going to give it a thorough watering. These things, once you water it, you don't need to water it very often. Okay. So this is what this forest planting look like right now. Uh, I still have some of these <laughs> this, uh, stumps that don't have any leaves in it and I don't know if it's going to grow or not. Um, I heard that even the leaves you can just stuck it back in the soil and maybe it's going to grow i don't know i'm just going to stop them back and see what happened in case i kill the whole <laughs> whole forest i may still have something left Well, I can do this later, but but this is my first forest. Um, it's a little bit random at this point, but uh, I just hope that these little trees and cuttings survive. Um, maybe after several months, I'm going to give it a prune. Uh, a pruning and make them look like tree a little bit more um, and once their roots are ex established and they can stand by themselves I can remove all the wires I probably can reuse all the wires because they are not there to hold the branches I think these trees they have pretty nice uh, branch structures even naturally so I don't need to hold any branches down I think after several months if there are roots going out I will remove the wires so this is the first look 
on this forest it's a little bit random right now but it doesn't matter as long as it survive it's going to be good it's a uh, almost hard to believe that it's such a small part of plants you can <laughs> derive so many um, little trees from so Naya is there to look at the trees the forest wool is also there so um, so they are saying goodbye and um, I will see you next time have a nice day